So it looks so pathetic to see just two fragments right here. But slow dodge and shatter dive, way too good of abilities not to have. So I do think Blink is the analog to this build because Blink gets you from one lane horizontally to the other without getting shot. Shoulder charge, maybe the third best option. Bacchus being the second best option. So I'm just going to burn it here. But if there was a sniper across this, he's not hitting that. He's not. I want the worm. Uh -oh. I have to backpedal. I'm getting out of here with the worm. Intact. Operation Witch Queen. If you're wondering why the title of this would-be video is called Mask of Baka, you're about to find out. Is that a Lorelei Titan? Oh, contestants. <laughs> I'm trying to buff myself with the worm. If that player was not wearing Lorelei, I would not have decided to just throw my um, my spawn away and make sure that he saw the spawn screen for sure. I always do that to Lorelei Titans. They deserve it. Almost died to a throwing knife there. I don't know if that was worth the Bacchus there because it was kind of just safe to jump and shatter dive back. That should always be like priority one. Oh, gotta be careful not to damage the Lorelei Titan too much. I need to cut some space here. If I got that kill and didn't have to repeat, I genuinely know I would have got at least one more. Uh, I ideally need a different point of web roll for this setup. I could have just jumped and shatter dive through that cover too. I slowed two. Oh, I can't iframe that. No worries. We go bathe in some overshield, please. I'm trying to hit him to keep frenzy active, even though I'm only doing seven damage. It maybe contributes for more later. If the teammates are gonna stay on the flag, I have to push up, cap some zones. You know, I had the sound cue for that. I just didn't instinctively pay attention to it, so. I, I thought, like, you know, shooting them with a full auto 900 RPM weapon at max damage would have, you know, caused some sort of flinch, but this is the game we play. Team saved me for once. Oh, team definitely saved me for twice. A super here would have actually chunked all three of them, but I don't really need to use a super. It's not helping me out to use a super. I need to learn how to win the game without a super, and this is a great opportunity to do that. 
I do want to get another uh, parasite, though. Oh, you bet your ass I'm going for it. You didn't go for the bubble? Thought he would have tried to get the Titan for sure. Just jumped in place. I'm not going to take the weapons of light. I don't need it. I should have aimed at his face more. I need Vice Stinger to proc like yesterday. Okay. Yes, it worked. Who is the idiot now? Fifth grade math teacher. Oh, another Bacchus. I'm not afraid of you guys. Y'all are afraid of me. That was three. That was nice. I wish that I got my Bacchus to snake out of the doorway just a little bit harder. But it is what it is. I'll learn from that. It's really influenced by holding forward. If teammate didn't ruin my strafe, I guarantee him I beamed him. And then it was just up to Vice Stinger to proc. I killed teammate there too. To be honest, we were equally responsible for that. But the point is, if that teammate wasn't there... And Vice Stinger procced, I know I hit that. That's a danger zone for me. Did he hit the teabag strafe? Is that why you missed? Or am I just on my stuff? Operation Witch Queen. I pulled this one out of my ass. I would like some shotgun ammo though. I need a hunter like you with a red jack. Oh my goodness. It's happening. I want to shatter dive him so bad. Take him back to the uh Europa. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Or a scout rifle. Don't chase me. Chasing bad idea. That's a fusion rifle. <laughs> Get out there. <laughs> Keep the frenzy up. I'm ready to jiggle that for sure. Keep my resist up for a little bit. Take that off your hands. Give me some cooldown. Oh, someone's grenade went in. Is 
This is the game we play. Two kills. Oh, one more kill and it's a tie game. You thought I was going to challenge you. I did it. I successfully hit him with the mask of Baka. That was pretty good. Don't tell me how, but it found their face. Okay, so let's uh, go to orbit for a sec, talk about this build, talk about the upgrades. This is something I genuinely will run. Uh, I won't run Parasite with it, of course. I'll run like Chaperone, probably. Because while one-two punch is really good, Chaperone is such a better entry tool for players that can aim. And I feel like I demonstrated a little bit that game that I can sometimes aim. So, I think Funnel Web is ideal because Funnel Web has lightweight. Let's go with Hammer Forge Rifling or Extended Barrel is better. Like, I'll take the Handling Loss for sure. Range Masterwork. Right, I have both of those already. I'll take Akurai's Rounds. It makes the most sense because I'm trying to pump out the range as far as I can. Here's where things get a little uh, different or difficult. Uh, perpetual Motion, it makes sense, right? I am moving around a lot, but if I Shatter Dive, I lose the bonus. And sure, this feels good in neutral. I think a better perk would be Pulse Monitor so I could rechallenge more often without having to backpedal to reload. Just being able to instantly take a fight when I am full committing to going inside with Bacchus. Pulse Monitor is a godsend. Secondarily, I don't want to be having to play the Frenzy minigame because I have to peek with an SMG for a benefit of 7 damage across the map. And in that time, I could be like sniped or something. So instead of that, let's make Focus Fury the benefit. So I can still build this up like Frenzy, even across the map, if I'm hitting headshots. Unlikely across the map, but, you know, in, in theory, you could. The idea between these two perks is that as long as I just keep hitting headshots, like Frenzy, eventually I get a damage bonus without a kill. And when there's overshields, Lorelei Titans, damage resist, healing grenades running around, the chance of you proccing Focus Fury off a of Pulse Monitor or Vice Stinger is really high. So... A 20% damage increase is like two stacks of Rampage. And that could be on the first kill. It's definitely going to be on the second kill. Because this isn't a giant magazine. You'll get through this very effortlessly. The second combination would just be Killing Wind and uh, Frenzy or Elemental Capacitor. Because if I go Elemental Capacitor on this, I could even uh, drop the Handling Negative from Extended Barrel. And then I have the fastest side-to-side -side strafe speed besides Peacekeepers. Because I am playing a stasis class. So this would be nuts. So that's the upgrade. I think I'm going to full commit to uh, BXR on this build instead of Funnel Web. But if I were to do the SMG shotgun thing, there are only three builds that I think I would ever run that on. Number one, Peacekeepers. Number two, Astro Sight Verse. And number three, this one. This one does something similar to Blink, but is on more strict cooldowns, but has better pop-off potential. Shatter Dive means you can face check lanes, third person peek, get out of the air quickly. And so, in a way, it's better than Blink because you can be more agile with it, as in rapidly change direction. Blink is very one directional, but it is one of the safest jumps and it doesn't have a long ass cooldown like I would with uh, Shatter Dive or Bacchus. So, pros and cons. A uh, little bit different um, goals, I guess. With Blink, I am much more comfortable sniping. With Bacchus, I am much more comfortable shotgunning. And then with Peacekeepers, I'll do any of the above because I think Behemoth is a little bit better for this build since its class ability is a barricade, which also cuts space on the map. So I could run Enhanced Dustfield, but I don't think that's as good as Glacier because Glacier cuts the map in half and lets me make the entire map SMG distance. So when I rebuild this, I'm probably going to lose a tier of recovery and a tier of resilience to gain 
10 mobility on the BXR with the BXR perk. And maybe I will go Chaperone, if not Roggenhild, because then I don't need the Lightweight bonus. However, Lightweight's still really good to have just for sprinting around the map and that sort of thing. So those are the upgrades I could make on this. Food for thought, I thought this was a really good build. I definitely recommend it for elimination. And uh, I think that's all I have for you today.